she has broken a promise that there would not be under her government ever, ever a carbon tax. Dancing a very merry dance, Mr Acting Deputy President. We might as well, we might as well, Mr Acting Deputy President, do that hokey pokey again. Do that hokey pokey on a dud of a policy that's all pain and no gain. It's bereft of detail, it's a total dud, and all it will do is distort the market. Dance the hokey pokey, Mr Acting Deputy President. The, it's bereft of detail. So is petrol in, is petrol out. You put petrol in, you take petrol out. You put petrol in and you shake the tax about. You do the hokey pokey and ooh, you turn right around. And you know what happens when you turn right around? You're back to where you were before. All pain, no gain. Senator Furner said as useless as an ashtray on a motorbike. Well, the government's ta carbon tax will sure be that, and as useless as tits on a bull. The analogies c c uh, c are, are endless. Well, you know what? Minister Wong said the carbon tax is all about the future. No, it's not, Minister. We're in a time warp. We're in a time warp. It's like the ETS all over again. It's a dud of a policy. You've released it without detail. It's all pain and no gain. All pain and no gain. It's astounding. Let's do the dance. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness. Oh, yes, it's going to take its toll. So let's do the time walk. You might as well take us back to the time of the ETS with this carbon tax, because that's what it is. Let's do the time warp again. It's, after all, just a jump to the left. So what's that as you then step to the right? Well, because this government is moving us closer and closer to a carbon tax. They jumped to the left and said, we'll never have a carbon tax. We step to the right because now we're supposed to believe that that which was wrong before, apparently, no carbon tax, is now right because we've got to have a carbon tax. <coughs> so you put your hands on your hips. This is when it gets good, Mr Acting Deputy President. It really does. We're supposed to believe that. You put your hands on your hips because the Prime Minister's going tut, tut, tut. Tut, tut, tut. It's not a tax, it's a scheme. It's a market-based mechanism. Call it what you will. It's a tax, Prime Minister. A tax is a tax is a tax. You put your hands on your hips and you bring your knees in tight because the Prime Minister is going to have to do that, Mr Acting Deputy President. She's be going to be having to bring those knees in tight because Minister Wong conceded yes Yes, the carbon tax will increase prices. It will increase prices. You know what? It will increase costs, Mr Acting Deputy President. Bring your knees in tight. They might as well confess it's going to increase the price at the Bowser. And once the people realise the increased prices at the Bowser, bring your knees in tight, the increased prices at the Bowser, some of that excess money will be siphoned offshore for the government to deliver on the UN pledge for developed countries to subsidise developing countries to save themselves on climate change. But it's the pelvic thrust. It is the pelvic thrust. It has to be parliamentary. The Prime Minister wants it to be. Senator McEwen, lift your head. It's at the behest of your Prime Minister. It's the pelvic thrust that's going to really drive the Australian people insane, and that's the carbon tax. It's a dud of a policy. It's a dud of a policy without detail. It will be all pain and no gain. And yes, Senator McEwen, you should hang your head in shame, as should your Prime Minister and your government.